Coronavirus treatment is underway. The first at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, the first human trial for a coronavirus treatment is underway. The first patient, one of 14 cruise ship passengers from Japan, now undergoing treatment in Omaha. Eventually, 400 patients will be in the trial worldwide. These are the people that will potentially have a more severe disease, uh, more sequelae, and potentially even be a life-threatening situation. Though the nation's health experts caution a vaccine may not be widely available for 12 to 18 months. If this cycles and comes back next year, then having a vaccine a year and a year and a half from now will be very applicable. The latest numbers from the CDC, 60 known coronavirus cases in the U.S., though that number is expected to grow. The HHS secretary on Capitol Hill. The risk right now is very low to Americans. From a public health perspective, we technically are in a state of containment in the United States. At Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey, the medical staff is already preparing. You want to make sure you're pulling the cuff of the glove up over the entire sleeve. Reviewing protocols for keeping a contagious virus from spreading. This is um, called negative pressure room. Including air-sealed treatment rooms. And any staff that went into that room would wear appropriate gloves, goggles, masks, and gowns with appropriate hand washing. While San Francisco has no reports of coronavirus yet, the mayor has declared a state of emergency to free up resources. Other big city mayors trying to reassure the public. Right now we have 1,200 hospital beds that we can make available immediately. For any individual who is in the testing process or who tests positive or needs isolation in a hospital setting. In the event that we need to ramp up quarantining, we are absolutely prepared to do that. Universities across the country are suspending their study abroad programs in hard hit Italy and Asia. University of Illinois students Carly Peldiak and Grace Claborn have left Italy and are now in Vienna, not sure where they're going next. So I'm actually like really freaked out. The first time in my life I felt like I don't know where I'm going to be next week. The coronavirus threat still looming large. Tom, there's been some confusion over whether there are enough protective masks and gowns in the event of an outbreak. What's the reality check on that? So New York City today said it is asking the federal government to help get more protective, uh, protective equipment so that it's prepared. The FDA says there is no shortage of masks, of gowns, of gloves right now. It has 30 million stockpiled. But if there were a true pandemic, it might.